rolling. What's going on guys? Carl here back with another episode of course standing out here at the Apple campus. You can see we're at the visitor center. We just finished off the Apple keynote and I had my first chance, first look and impressions with the brand new iPhone 10s and 10s Max. Of course, the iPhone XS builds on the architecture and design of the iPhone X, so it looks very, very similar. We, of course, have two different sizes now, the 5.8 inch and, of course, the behemoth 6.5 inch. That's the max. I had a chance to hold it. Still absolutely love the plus size or the max size phones. I do prefer having a larger battery and, of course, having a larger display. They are both Super Retina panels with a custom OLED design. They do support Dolby Vision and HDR10, and of course still has that higher color accuracy and wider color gamut. As Tim Cook said, our best iPhone ever. Just like the iPhone 10, we do still have the wraparound in steel and glass on both sides. It now has an extra color of gold, which adds to both the silver and the space gray. This year, Apple claims the glass is more scratch resistant. Very interested to see how that turns out. As many of you guys know, I tend to rock my devices without any sort of protection. I do have a couple scratches on this guy. So curious to see how the new 10S holds up over time. I think I need that uh, scratch resistance. If you guys can see that. Nick needs it. <laughs> One little new upgrade to the design, the 10S is IP68 water and dust resistant. They mentioned in the keynote that it was tested against beer, my favorite thing, and of course salt water, which I'm super curious about. If you guys want to see a full water test, that guy being dunked underwater, let me know and I will get wet for you guys. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Internally, we have the brand new A12 Bionic chip. It's the first seven nanometer chipset. It can do up to five trillion operations per second. And also you can launch apps 30% faster. That's of course pairing it with the latest iOS 12 update. So with the improved A12 Bionic, there are improvements that of course translate to gaming. They kind of showcase some really cool use cases with Elder Scrolls Blades that is coming out. Of course, that will be tested out more when I get my full hands on and am reviewing them for just more than the keynote. Switching on over to the back, we have a new camera setup. They still look very similar. We still have that same dual camera setup. Both are 12 megapixels. We still have the wide angle. That is f1.8. And of course, the tighter cropped in secondary lens. We still have two times optical zoom and we now have smart HDR. So a lot of stuff going on in the background with the camera taking multiple photos, stitching them together to give you the highest possible dynamic range. And Apple claims that they've done a ton of research to see how good bokeh effects are with say more expensive cameras, just like the one that I'm using now. And you can actively change the depth of field with a little slider for bokeh affected or portrait mode photos. Definitely one of my favorite features from today's keynote and that's actually transferring over to the iPhone XR even though that phone only has one single camera lens. And perhaps the best low key feature that I thought was really cool was the fact we can now finally have dual SIMs in iPhones. So this is great for people that have two numbers, one for work, one for personal. If you're leaving the country and you still want to maintain your old number and you say a cheaper SIM in a different country. But curious to hear your thoughts down below on the brand new iPhone 10s, 10s Max. Which one would you grab? There are subtle, subtle differences. They are available to pre-order as of September 14th, so quite soon, and fully available to grab on the 21st. Starting prices are $999 for the 10s and $1099 for the 10s Max. Obviously, Canadian pricing is a bit higher as our dollar isn't too strong. So a ton of money for these phones. They are on the premium end. And yeah, it's just crazy to think that I was able to check out the brand new iPhones, of course, here in Cupertino. A super, super cool experience. iPhones have been out, say, in Canada for the past 10 years. So we're at 10 years of iPhone 11 overall in the US. Should be coming to most major carriers. And as you guys know, I'm with Rogers back in Canada. They are coming to their new ultra tier, which gives you more affordable smartphones for, of course, a bit cheaper to save you guys some money. I will, of course, leave the rest of my Apple Keynote stuff, whether that is iPhone XR or Apple Watch 4, linked right around here. So make sure you guys check it out. And curious to see if you drop this kind of money, this kind of dough on the new 10s. Catch you guys in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace!